Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is a chill video. I'm going to be doing another story time. One of my dating horror stories from back in the day. Um, this one's going to be another quick one because, like I said, it's been so long. I've been married for years, but I mean, I had a hell of a time online dating before and some of these stories are just too epic not to share. So, um, this one, let's see, how did it start? We met at a Starbucks because that's usually how it goes and it was going pretty well he was decent um nice guy and then he's like well, well after we finished our coffee he's like let's go you know I want to take you to dinner and I'm like dope dope free food all right let's do this he's like why don't you come in my car and I was like no man I don't I just on the, the first time meeting someone I don't I don't ride in their car like I have to like meet with them a few times and I, I don't know it just I wasn't down with that I'm like you know what I'm gonna go separate and I'll meet you at the restaurant he's like okay so we uh, get to the restaurant which is a sushi restaurant um, I've never heard of it or been there um, and we go in order and then things just like start getting weird. He asks me if I've ever had a threesome before and I was like, bro, no, like, no. Um, and he's like, they're really fun. And I'm like, oh, FML, man. Like, are you fucking kidding me? And he's like going on and on about like his experience and what went on and I'm like, bro, God, just let me eat my sushi so I can get the fuck out from here, dude. Um, and he just went on and on about it, and of course, you know, proposition. Is that the, is that the word proposition or proposed that um, we find someone and go to his house? I mean, I guess that isn't that big of a deal, but I don't know, man. I was not down for that. The only thing is I found like my favorite sushi restaurant out of this. Like, I think it was worth doing just to find that restaurant. It's so good and so cheap. If you're in the Orange County area, like I highly suggest you go. Like, it's the best. And my rule that I order is not even on the menu and I learned it from that freak. So I guess, you know, it's a really good thing. And if you wanna know what that role is, you're gonna have to take me. Cause I'm not gonna say it right now but anyways yeah that's the whole story I just so ridiculous like on a first date like trying to get me all up in some threesome I wasn't even coming off like sexual you know like I could see if someone was like really getting like intimate in their convo but like I was just trying to like get to know this fool but anyways and sorry if I look a little crazy. I was like a grade A dickhead today and like was in the sun and look at this. Ugh, I was such a dummy. Like I went out for a walk. I'm like, okay, I'm going to let myself get a little color and then I'm going to put sunblock on. Like, bitch, you should have put it on right away. I got this fancy ass expensive sunblock and yeah, so I'm burnt to a crisp. My whole life is a crisp right now. So hopefully I won't peel and please wear sunblock guys because I'm going to look like a damn freak. Look at this. I have a mark from my tank top and my backpack. Grade A dick hand. So anyways guys, I know it's not the most exciting story but I figured I'd just show it, you know, share it anyways. If you have any similar motifs, leave them down below. Let's share some stories, you know. Uh, please like this video, subscribe, hit the bell button. It'll notify you every time I upload, and I will be uploading more. And uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Megan McRae, same way I spell it here. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!